Romans chapter 8, verse 14. For it, now you're going to notice a lot of these are Romans chapter 8 because Romans chapter 8 is about the work of the Holy Spirit in the life of a Christian. Romans 8, 14 says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Now, I'm going to really have to emphasize this for this reason. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. This is not talking about being led to feed the hungry, clothe the naked, lay hands on the sick, raise the dead. It is not talking about that. Okay, you got that? When it says, as many as are led, number one, the word led is in a, a, a particular tense. That means as many as are constantly being led. So that right there knocks out the idea of, a, of what we generally call a special leading or the Holy Spirit leading you to do this or that thing. Where, what it's talking about here is you have to go back and read all this in context. And the context of Romans chapter 8, especially prior to this, is about you killing or mortifying the deeds of the flesh. And all it's saying is this. Here's how you can know that you are a son of God. The spirit in you will always be working on you to kill the deeds of the flesh. Amen. All right? Has nothing to do with works of power. Has nothing to do with, as I said, with laying hands on the sick, healing the sick, raising the dead, casting out devils, doing any of that. It has this verse. Now, understand, I'm not saying that the Holy Spirit can't lead you to do those things, right? But if he does, those would be what we would call special leadings because you should be led by his nature and character, which should have you doing that already. So if he has to tell you to do it, it's because you ain't listening and following his normal nature. So he has to do something spectacular usually to get you to recognize he's trying to get you to do something. Does that make sense? So he wants you, when you see the sick, to automatically go, not, Father, uh, am I sensing the leading of the Spirit? You never see that in the Bible. Why? Because they already said, heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils. He said, whatever I've taught you, you teach every generation from you on. So we're supposed to be doing the same thing. Why? Because that's God's nature and character. And if we have his nature and character, then that's how we should be living on a daily basis. God should never have to point someone out to you for you to pray for. In other words, now, he may have to show you this person in there uh, that you don't just normally notice, but as you go through life, you ought to be conscious of the fact that people need help, and you're their help. Why? Because the one that can help them lives in you, dwells in you, doesn't come and go, doesn't come to visit and then leave. He dwells. That means he's always there to do whatever needs to be done. Amen? And he doesn't have to activate you. You can activate him. All right? Why? Because it says stir up the gift that's in you. And you can stir that gift of the Holy Spirit up in you. Now, 